at the various international fora, she was admired as a mediator and conciliator. In awarding the prize for 2010 to President Lula, we are honoring today an outstanding champion of the developing world. President Lula has been a transformative figure in Brazil with his own unique life story of rising from humble origins to the highest level in the country and to international recognition as a world statesman. He has inspired millions of his countrymen. Their faith in participatory democracy and in effective governmental intervention for development were strengthened by his actions. As a man of vision, he demanded, he dreamed of comprehensive development for Brazil and made eradication of hunger and alleviation of poverty his imperatives. With energy and perseverance, he challenged the structural causes of food shortage and achieved food security for his people. He has been a champion of inclusive growth in Brazil, a policy that is akin to our own approach. Through social programs like Bolsa Familia and Foam Zero, hallmarks of his presidency, President Lula has conceived and popularized models of effective delivery of the financial benefits to poor families, but expected them to fulfill some essential social requirements. Today, Brazil is one of the front-ranking economies, and more than 20 million Brazilians have been lifted out of acute poverty due to these innovations and well-administered programs. With the continuation of these policies by President Dilma Rousseff, a close colleague and friend of former President Lula, Brazil is one on its way to becoming a middle-class country, the stated aspirations of its leaders. President Lula is also credited as having changed significantly Brazil's international profile his energetic and dynamic international engagement has been enhanced on empathy and solidarity with the developing world. Starting with all of the South America and with efforts at greater unity in the countries of that continent, President Lula forged stronger links with Africa, recognizing the historical and economic bonds of Brazil with many African countries. He has been a force in the evolution of the new fora that bringing together the major emerging economies, including India and Brazil. President Lula has thus greatly contributed to the cause of the developing countries and to the self-realization of the <coughs> commonalities and convergent interests of the major emerging economies. Brazil will come under even greater world attention in the coming years as the host of the FIFA World Cup in 2014 and the Olympics in 2016. Your Excellency, President Rula, allow me to state that it is a moment of great satisfaction for me to present the Indira Gandhi Peace Prize for 2010 to you. I understand that the international jury has been unanimous in their choice. You are a true visionary of the 20th century. You are regarded as the most popular politician in the history of Brazil and one of the most popular world figures. Through your inclusive politics and your perseverance through the Lula Institute to promote democracy, social inclusions combined with economic development, you have been an example and an inspiration to many leaders in the world over. The formation of IPSA and South-South cooperation are manifestations of your contribution to the strengthening of cooperation between developing countries of Africa, Asia, and South America. It was your foresight that infused the momentum to the integration of the Latin America and the Caribbean 
the formation of the community of the Latin American and Caribbean states fulfills the desire of the people and the will of the nations in your region to carve out their own destiny. The people of India hold you in high esteem. You have been a sincere friend of India. It was during your presidency. The relations between India and Brazil steadily progressed and the seeds were sown in close partnership in the IPSA, BRIC, G20, and BASIC. Our bilateral cooperation has strengthened significantly in the recent years, and we are today in a strategic partnership of a privileged nature, engaged in realizing its full potential for our mutual benefit. Our two-way trade flow today is over 9 billion US dollars. We took we look at Brazil in, as an important partner in achieving energy security, food security as a source of raw material for our industry and enhanced cooperation in science and technology as well as higher education to accelerate the development process in both our countries. The commonalities between our countries is truly striking. We are the largest democracies in our continents, that is Asia and Latin America. We both have enormous diversity, ethnic, cultural, and religious. Cultural vibrancy and family ties are important in both our societies. And above all, we face the challenges of development. In recent years, our economies have been growing, and today we are major economies in terms of GDP, but we both face regional and income disparities. It is therefore inevitable that often our perspective on global issues are similar, be it with regard to democratization of the world order, issues relating to the international trade at the WTO or climate change. We share a strong commitment to nuclear disarmament and the global elimination of all weapons of mass destruction. We are united in our belief in dialogue and consultation as the best path to the resolution of disputes. <clears throat> our relationship has therefore been termed as the natural and necessary. Your Excellency, President Lula, at this critical juncture in world affairs, as we confront economic uncertainty, food scarcity, increasing competition for the world's resources, political instability and terrorism, it is main of vision, integrity, and clarity of purpose who can instill faith among their fellow men, find solutions, and show the way. Your policies have always been inclusive and your perseverance inspiring. Our government and people applaud your selfless labor for your people and for mankind. May you long continue to play an active role in global affairs. I once again congratulate you and wish you good health and success in all your future endeavors. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.